everyone today I am going to be making a little welcome sign to add to my 4th of July wreath that I already have hanging on my front door so we're gonna start with the welcome this welcome transfer is the small welcome in the um, full welcome um, transfer set and I'm going to fuzz it and by fuzzing it I place it I usually just place it on my pant leg get a little bit of fuzz on there um, the fuzzing helps so it doesn't stick stick to the um, to the board that you're working on as much. Um, it protects the transfer from sticking too much. This board here is our 10 inch round, the Chocotur 10 inch round magnetic board in white. So you just line up your transfer and smooth it out. Make sure there's no bubbles around any of your letters. You see where the white is, that's where your color is going to go through. And because it is 4th of July, I will be using the red chocotur paste and the azure blue. As you can see, I'm getting low on red, so I'm going to have to order some more. I'm just going to take my stir stick after I've stirred it up. It should be a yogurt consistency while you're done. And just place some on the transfer here. And then I'm going to take our chocotur squeegee and I'm going to spread that paste out making sure all the white spots are filled in with the paste. Now as you have extra you can just scrape it back into your jar. Save as much as you can. And the paste, the chocotur pastes are semi-permanent. So when they dry, you're able to rub your hands across them, touch them, and they won't smear. And then when you are done with the design and you or you find out that there's a little mistake in it, you can just take some water and you just wash it, get it wet, and you wash it right off. It doesn't even take a whole lot of effort. As you can see, I'm scraping off any excess paste here I have our wonderful welcome and a beautiful red color so now I have just set that welcome transfer in a pan of water uh, it helps the so that the paste doesn't dry while I'm not using it and while we let the welcome dry because if we were to move on to the next step and I were to touch that, because it's not dry, it would smear. And then we'd have to clean up that, and I don't want to do that. So we're going to just let that dry here for a little bit. Push that off to the side, and I'm going to show you quick how to clean the transfers. And this is just a towel or a drying towel from the dollar store that you could put plates and things on. This is just a disinfectant wipe. And you can go ahead and you wipe off the any extra that you didn't wash off. And this is obviously the side that the paste went on. Now that's all cleaned up. You can turn it over and use the same Clorox wipe to wipe the sticky side. The sticky side with the, the wipe, you will uh, get rid of any of that fuzz that you put on there. And it just helps renew some of the, renew the stick that is on the transfer. All right, that's all clean. And we'll check to see if our welcome is dry. Yep, all dry. So we're just going to add some little blue stars here. If I can get the transfer peeled off. There we go. And again, I'm going to just fuzz the star. Grab our blue. Blue. 
And if you are doing some smaller designs and the paste is staying nice and neat, you can just keep using that transfer without washing it off in between. Let's see, I think we should add a few more up here. One over here. And we'll go one over here. And if I decide that I added too many stars, I can just watch, wash one off. All right, and I am happy with that. Thank you. Bye.